fucking bad, then fuck it. I'm the bad guy. Wow. This should be interesting. Holy shit. Um, so, God, where, where do I begin? Well, hello. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. What a fucking pre-show. First, let me start by just doing the obvious here. Uh, thank you guys so fucking much for 47K. 47K. We're, we are officially on the road to 50K. Um, thank you guys so much for that. Because obviously, I mean, clearly that's not possible without the people in this chat, <clears throat> the people who support, subscribe, who like the streams, who comment, who share, um, all of you, like not even only guest mob, all communities that have been supporting, like seriously, th thank you for that. And not, not only did we hit 47K, we're already on the fast track to 48. Um, I think we're at what, 47, 100 something. I mean, God damn, like we hit 47K just like hours ago and we're already on the road to 48. So um, thank you guys so much for that. Seriously. Thank you guys for all the support, the memberships, the super chats, everything. You guys are fucking God. Like, on, first of all, first of all, you guys are fucking crazy because I'm, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I'm mean, that's a long ass fucking pre-show. Um <laughs> But you guys be fucking rocking it, man. You guys be in the chat fucking dancing, like goddamn. I know the pre-show is not for everybody, but the, the reason why I do the pre-show is because when I used to stream and I would just go straight into it, I would be in the middle of a stream and people would still be coming in like, what I miss? Hey, can you repeat that? Hey, can you explain that again? And I'm and so I would be like, fuck, <laughs> fuck, you know, and at the time, trolls were like heavy striking. And I had to keep getting strikes removed. So... I was like, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a fucking pre-show before the stream. That way, there's like an hour's time <laughs> that people will know that I'm live. And they can get whatever they need to get done. Get it all done. Like, people be doing laundry, dishes. People run to the store and get snacks. <laughs> so, that that's what the pre-show is for. So, you guys literally be fucking killing it. So I, I really do appreciate that. Uh, someone someone said Foodie Beauty's man is in the chat. What? Where? Huh? Um, <laughs> I see. <laughs> God damn. Oh, God. Um, but, no, wait, is that, is that even? <laughs> I can't be a real Oh my God, dude, what the fuck? Uh, holy shit. Th God damn, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Always Street, thank you. Fucking Tina, thank you. You know, hell has officially frozen over when Tina is becoming a super chat killer and a membership killer for fucking guest mob. Holy shit. People didn't think it ever happened. <laughs> The, the two biggest rivals of, of this side of the community are cordial. That's crazy. And there's Tina's in here fucking, fucking donating and shit. God damn, never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Albert be hanging out in our Discord at night in the VCs. Like, <laughs> Albert just comes in at night. What's up, guys? You know what I mean? And <laughs> we're like, what up, Albert? And he just sits there and we'll talk for a couple hours and he'll bounce, you know? I don't know. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> but 
Uh, and in all seriousness, no, like seriously, thank you guys. Um, honestly, thank you. We got a packed fucking show tonight. There, oh man, there's so much that I need to fucking cover, talk about, show, uh, react to. God, there's a lot. There's a lot. So this is going to be a, a packed fucking stream of some shit. And I, it, it, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, the first, the first thing I want to touch on real quick, I just want to just get this out the way. A lot of you aren't going to know this person, but just, just give me just two minutes to, to, to address this fucking idiot. Just give me two minutes. Um, tater toddies, Taylor, you're fucking obsessed with Raina. Like. It's like you you can't you can't accept the fact that you got to hold the fucking L that people finally accepted her cuz they seen through your bullshit and now now at this point in time you're the one that everyone knows as a crazy ass stupid bitch but you're supposed to be pregnant right now and you're supposed to be a couple weeks away from giving birth now that's your claim you're, you're a few weeks away from giving birth. So tell me, for, for someone who's a few weeks away from giving birth, why are you trying to start so much fucking YouTube drama? <laughs> God damn, appreciate it, Tina. Why are you trying to cause so much fucking YouTube drama? You're, you're literally posting multiple videos per day on Raina. You're posting tons of fucking rage tweets per day about Raina. You're you're constantly talking about Raina. Thank you, Abyss. God damn, Chris Gordon be even fucking dropping it. You're but you're 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 obsessed. Like you need you need to let the shit go. You need to let it go. And now you're trying to call out Raina for a panel. She'll never one-on-one panel me and she'll never Bitch, aren't you pregnant? You're about to drop a baby. Shouldn't you be nesting and shit? Like, I know my ex-wife wasn't the best mother, but... Or wife. But, I mean, when she was pregnant, she at least fucking, you know, knew she was. Uh, she, she fucking acted like it. She wasn't sitting there trying to fucking go around causing drama on fucking YouTube. Like, you just have to accept the fact. You got the fucking L. Hold the L. It's over. And you know what's crazy? What's crazy, you're, you're, you're still re-uploading the same bullshit fucking clips from years ago that nobody gives a fuck about. How about you post something now? Because back then, when it was you and Raina going at it, you were fucking disgusting. Raina may have said some fuck shit, but you twisted a lot of this shit that she fucking said. And that's and that's where people are realizing that you're a fucking shady ass cunt bitch. Because you literally have twisted the shit that she has fucking said and done for your own narratives. And now people are seeing the truth of what actually is happening here. Appreciate that, lawyer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Road to fucking 50K. Let's fucking get it. But I'm just saying, like, you you are obsessed. You're pregnant. Focus on your fucking baby. You're, you're a couple weeks away from dropping that baby, and, and, and you sitting here spazzing the fuck out over Raina. Spazzing the fuck out over Raina. Let it go. She won. That's it. Let it go. Let it go. Thank you, Lady Lone Wolf. Appreciate you. But seriously, just let it go. It's 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 over, okay? It's over. Let me turn on the pur the purge alarm and all the yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. I didn't even have the purge alarm on for the super chats and shit and the memberships. Um, but just let it go. Seriously, just just fucking let it go. Just let it go. You lost. Like Raina has no interest in trying to fucking panel with you because we literally have about. 10 to 12 hours of recordings of you on those calls that we have to pull you in because you would be like literally about to jump off the fucking ledge and we'd have to talk to you and well, what's going on and blah, blah, blah. And you showed how fucking crazy you were. You literally 
said that you were happy she suffered a miscarriage, you disgusting bitch. You admitted that you tweeted a shot when she announced that day that she had suffered one, and you tweeted saying that you were you were pleased with your Didi's work. You're fucking disgusting. Everybody heard it. Everybody heard how evil you were on that call, and then after that, you said that you wish worse would have happened to her. Everybody fucking heard it. You, you you get caught lying about every fucking thing. You're shady as fuck. You you literally were shady to fucking Tara. You share people's fucking DMs. You you backstab people at the drop of a fucking dime. You're fucking disgusting. You're disgusting. Hold the fucking L, cause it's over. It's over. It's over. You lost. Now go be a fucking mother for once. So that way your husband doesn't have to have custody because you're constantly having fucking meltdowns. I think I think that's a pretty common sense thing to ask, right? Focus on your baby. Like what the fuck? Um, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. I just wanted to get that out the way because she's spaz, she's spaz and she's fucking nuts. Like this bitch in one day uploaded like five fucking different videos on Raina. And I'm like, what like what is she doing? And then she's and then and then Raina Raina sent her like a strike or something on one of the videos because she re-uploaded one of the fucking videos with no like like she wasn't reacting to it. It was just a direct re-upload of someone else's fucking content. So she got struck. Raina fucking struck her for the shit, took the video down. This bitch is threatening to sue. She said, Raina better get her lawyers ready. Shut the fuck up. Go focus on your fucking baby, you crazy bitch. Raina better get her lawyers ready. Shut up. (laughs) Shut up. If you only knew how much we are laughing at you over here over this shit, like if you only, if you could see the conversations in the fucking Discord of, of us laughing at you, I swear to God, it's the funniest fucking shit. God fucking crazy anyways um so first thing that i want to speak about is i do have an announcement to make i know a lot of you have already seen it heard about it you've seen it posted you've probably seen it shared um this saturday 8 p.m eastern standard time there will be somebody coming to speak live a live one-on-one interview with Kybella the woman that foodie beauty's husband cheated with she was the one that he was going to shut on. You me- remember that? You remember he was like, I'm going to shut on you. Remember, remember that? I'm, I'm going to shut on you, choke you, and poop on you. Yeah, that guy. That guy. Him. Him. Um, she got a lot of stuff that she wants to say. She has a lot of stuff that she wants to clear up. She might have some stuff she wants to show. She might have some stuff she wants to play. But... That is going down Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, you know, when somebody caught wind of that happening, they weren't too happy about that. Because somebody went live today. And there were people in the chat, including myself, a couple times, you know, but... (laughs) There were people in the chat that were telling Foodie Beauty, hey, you know, this Be Our Guest guy is doing an interview with Kybella this Saturday. And she she was trying her best to fucking ignore it. Like You could tell every time she got triggered by a comment, she'd go like this. You, you can always tell she got triggered. She took somebody out. She took somebody to fuck out. You can always tell. Because she goes like this. She goes. <laughs> It's like, oh, okay, she she just typed somebody out. Oh, okay. All right. She's pissed. <laughs> She's pissed. But more and more people kept coming in, bringing it up. Hey, there's an interview happening. There's a, hey, Kai Bell's going to get interviewed Saturday. Do you know about Be Our Guest interview? And this bitch finally fucking snapped. She, she finally snapped, and she fat-shamed me. <laughs> she fucking... 
this big bitch, <laughs> this big bitch fat shame me. This fucking walrus hippo, you hungry, hungry hippo. You, you fat shame me. You, are you fucking kidding me? Are you, <laughs> what, what, what? You fucking walking avalanche. Are you fucking kidding me? You you fat shamed me? F foodie beauty. Foodie beauty is calling someone fat. What? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Do you have a mirror? Or at least one that you could fit in? Like, are you fucking serious? Holy shit. Like, bitch, you use the Dunkin' Donut box as a pillow at fucking night just so the donuts are close by. And you are going to sit there and talk shit on me? <laughs> you have no nails because you get hungry throughout the day. And you're going to talk shit on me. You're going to call me fucking fat. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Appreciate it, Jose and Savage. But are, are you fucking kidding me? I'm so caught off guard by this shit. Like, I'm watching this shit, and this bitch just out of nowhere, she's like, yeah, well, he want to talk about somebody being disgusting. He need to look at himself, because cause he's fucking fat and blah, blah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. You fucking human albino bowling ball. I know. I know. You know what somebody doesn't do? Somebody needs to make a new fucking song. There needs to be a new song. There needs to be a new fucking song. Instead of shapes, we need planets. That's the next one. Planets. Can somebody make planets? Because <laughs> this bitch is a fucking planet. All right? God damn. She was pissed, though. And she starts talking shit. And then somebody was like, oh, he's from the AGP community, Angry Grandpa. And she said, Angry Grandpa is a has-been. Mmm. Um, Angry Grandpa is a legend on fucking YouTube. He's worldwide famous. Um... Millions of millions and millions and millions of views. He's been on TV shows. He's been all over the fucking place. Who the fuck are you to talk about anybody? He's also deceased, by the way, you cunt bitch. He he's he's deceased. He passed away. But you said you said he's a has been. Um, his son still does YouTube. His son's name is Kid Behind a Camera. He's also famous. That's my best friend, Michael Green. Um, he as well has millions of fucking subs and a shit ton of fucking views. It makes a shit ton of fucking money. But you're sitting there literally hinting around for fucking donuts and you want to sit there and talk about somebody else. So somebody else is a fucking has been, you know, I remember a time when you used to pull some serious fucking views, uh, Chantel. So who, who exactly is the has been here? Uh, hey, I'll be honest with you. Hey, you got how many subs? And, and on most streams, I, I can pull more than you. I get I can get more people in a stream than you, but yet you want to sit here and talk about people being has-beens. I mean, I remember when you used to pull a, a shit ton of fucking views and people actually gave a fuck about you. Not in a good way. They just gave a fuck about you because you were literally the biggest fucking shit show. And, and honestly, I mean that literally. Literally, you were the biggest fucking shit show. Um, I I don't understand how you can call anybody a fucking has been. If anybody is a has been, it's you because the people that react to you and watch you, they get more views than you when you're fucking live. Do you know how much of a boring, basic bitch you got to be when you go live and the people reacting to you are getting more views than you? That tells me two things. One, you're boring as fuck. And two, you're you're irrelevant now. You're irrelevant. When it comes to this shit, you're fucking irrelevant. If people can literally react to you while you're live and snipe your fucking stream and they pull more people in their stream than you, you're hated and you're not entertaining. 
They rather watch somebody else watch you than watch you directly because they find somebody else watching you more entertaining than them watching you. I mean, let's be real here. Your husband don't even fucking watch you. Most of the time, he's in the fucking house doing some other fucking shit. He'll pop in every now and then to, you know, send a quick super chat with a love note that he stole off of Instagram. Uh, But most of the time, he's probably on TikTok scouting other fucking bitches because he doesn't even want to fuck you. What was the phrase again that he told Kybella? What was it? At least I can pick you up. Is, is, Is that what he said? Is that what he said? At least I can pick you up. Do you know how how disrespectful that is? That your husband, who's supposed to be your ride or die, that's your man, that's your that's your hubby. He's supposed to have your back. He's supposed to be there for you. He's supposed to look at you and you are the most beautiful person in his eyes, in this world, and nobody can come close. But at the drop of a dime, He wants to go shit on somebody else. Ain't that a bitch? (laughs) At the the drop of a dime, he was like, hey, you're you're fucking hot. At least I can pick you up. And you took him back after that. What, you think that he ain't sitting there still thinking the same fucking thing? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, goddamn. You know what's crazy? Today, this bitch was sitting there. And she was hinting around about a donut. Like, she kept hinting about a donut. I don't know if he was in the background or if he was watching. But she kept hinting about a fucking donut. She was sitting there. She was like, man, you know, really wish I had a donut. (laughs) Like, who does that? (laughs) You know, you know what I like about LeBron James? What, foodie beauty? He's always dunking. Like, what? (laughs) She's like, you know, you know, my husband blew a load in a sock. I guess you can call it Krispy Kreme. Like, bitch, you can throw out all the hints you want. He ain't getting you that donut. He ain't getting you the donut. (laughs) You are, you are one donut away. You were one donut away from fucking exploding. Like, even when you're on the streams, like, God, your face is all... It's like... Let me, I can't... I, I, I'm trying to make myself fatter to look like... What do we do? But I can't... Fuck it. Fuck it. I can't. I can't. I can't get that fat. Big bitch. (laughs) I can't get that fat. But like, literally, she sat there hinting around for a fucking donut. People in the chat were like, oh, you want a donut? Yeah, donut be nice. (laughs) Donut would be nice tonight. And then I leave. I start setting up this stream. I go back in and this bitch is eating soft serve. I was like, holy shit. (laughs) Where the fuck did the soft serve come from? She just sitting like, "Mm." (laughs) I was like, well, she didn't get a donut, but God damn. (laughs) God damn. Like that, it was that quick. It was that quick. Holy shit! <laughs> you should just smoke with the donut. To, to be honest, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Batty says she was denied the donut. That bitch was like, "Fuck, I'm, I'm getting something." <laughs> she was like, "I'm getting something, motherfucker." It may not be a fucking donut, but god damn it, I'm stuffing my face with something. It's gonna be something. It looked like a nice little little soft serve. It had the toppings on it. I was like, ain't this a bitch? <laughs> like that take that takes balls. That takes balls to look like butter bean in a hijab and sit there on a live stream and fucking eat. Like <laughs> it, especially when people know that you hate being fat. 
Like, if I hated being fat, I mean, which, listen, I, I am fat. I ain't foodie beauty fat, but I'm a big fucking guy. But you also don't see me up here eating like fucking loads of cheese fries, chicken fingers, donuts, ice cream. Like, <laughs> I at least attempt. You know what I mean? Like, like when I'm driving down the fucking road and I see a food truck, I, I at least gas it, you know. <laughs> I hit the gas like, nope. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. I just ate dinner. <laughs> this bitch will sit there and eat. this bitch has three dinners. How the fuck you got three dinners? She <laughs> she got a pre-show to her dinner the way I got a pre-show on my stream. She spends an hour eating food before she gets to the dinner. The fuck? This bitch got a dinner pre-show. <laughs> so like beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes. Like I was like, God damn. But you you have no room to sit there and and first off, you got no room to talk about anybody's fucking looks. Cause if we're if we're generally talking about fucking looks, first off, take that hijab off and let's see what's under it. Okay. Okay, um, <laughs> let, let's let's see what the fuck is under that bitch. Like part part of me, you know, <laughs> I, part of me wants to get one off Amazon. I look, they're they're eight ninety five. They're eight ninety five. I was going I was going to do it. I was going to come up on this bitch with a full blown fucking heat jab and just be like, surprise, motherfuckers. But you know, I don't know, I don't know because a couple of people in my community were like, "Ooh, that's a serious thing," and I was like, "Is it?" I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Ben Holden says, how's she going to have another dinner for dessert? <laughs> this, this bitch just mixes all the meals together at once. She's like, fuck it, I'm having breakfast, lunch, dinner. Like, she just, pfft, all at once, multiple times a day. Um, But, but like, I was thinking about it. I was even sitting here doing the pre-show. Like, maybe I should just take this black shirt and just psh, over the head. <laughs> I was considering it. I still might. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she's she's not really that religion. I mean, get the fuck out of here. She didn't she just say when she was crying like a little pussy ass bitch in the car? She said she'll believe in shit. She'll know why she's wearing it. So why can't I wear it? It's a cosplay. She's cosplaying. <laughs> you cosplaying ass bitch. You don't get on your knees and pray. I think, I think everybody know that shit. And if you do get on your knees and pray, you're going to need even more prayers to get the fuck back up, bitch. The fuck? Going to call somebody fat. I swear to God, I will accept being called fat by a lot of fucking people. I hear it every day from trolls. You're fucking fat. And it's like, no shit. And I still probably get more pussy than you. But I'm not going to get called fat by fucking foodie beauty. Checkmate, That's not happening. It, it's just, How's no. How's she going to have another dinner uh -uh. for dessert? <laughs> it's not, no, no, uh-uh, no, we're not doing that, we're not doing that, oh, uh, I know this, this bitch that's not built like a fucking Tesla cyber truck is not gonna sit here and call me fucking fat, the fucking nerve, this fucking bitch, appreciate the memberships ringing the fucking purge alarm, thank you, thank you, donut money, honey, <laughs> It's the donut fund. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. You know what I should do? You know what I should do? You know what I should do? I should, when when I do this interview with Kybella, I, I should get up on here with a full fucking thing of donuts. That's what I should do. And just throughout the interview, just eat them. Just fucking, just do a live mukbang while she's getting her ass ripped. <laughs> Wide the fuck open. I think I should do that. I think I should come on here with some Dunkin'. And with an iced coffee. And just and, and, and then me and Kai Bella just fucking let it rip. That's what I fucking think. But she got really mad. She was talking a lot of shit on me. She's like, he ain't a piece of shit. You know, he ain't a piece of shit. His house was disgusting. Bitch, I already exposed that fucking lie. The video's on my channel. My house is immaculate. Matter of fact, anytime people see the pictures of my fucking house, they say it's fucking nice. I got receipts for every fucking thing. And then and then she was she said she said I'm a woman abuser. I got full custody of all four of my fucking kids. And I had a PFA against my fucking ex-wife because she was an abusive piece of shit. 
And it was granted for three fucking years, the maximum that you can get in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, on top of that, I got child clearances. I have a, a child clearance um, for the state of Pennsylvania for, you know, Children's Bureau. Boom, cleared. And then I have another clearance, uh, state police clearance for the state of Pennsylvania, criminal history background check. Clear, because what I do in real life now is I, I I do something that I work with children. Um, I'm I'm just saying, you know. But speaking of children, by the way, you should really stop letting level three sex offenders and pedophiles in your chat. Just saying, but we'll get to that at some point. You know, people like Mark Rydell, Drama King. Um, but I'm I'm just saying, like, like it. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. I get why you're mad. I get it. I get it. I get why you're mad. Your husband, who's supposed to be your ride or die, I get it. He's supposed to be your ride or die. And your husband, God damn, appreciate it, Jose. Jose said, I'll be the first one to donate for the donut fight. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's a fucking dozen right there, Check boy. Me, bitch. That's a fucking I'll dozen. I'll be the first one to donate for know. the donut fund. Because after tax, it comes to twenty three ninety two on Uber Eats. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I get why you're mad. Your husband fucking embarrassed you. I get it. He was caught talking to another woman from fucking YouTube. She recorded him and his perverted voice messages telling her that he wants to shit on her and shit. And then it got blasted. And you already know, you don't have much choices out there, right? So you, you know, you looked over at fucking Timu Aladdin and you were like, you know what? If I, if I break this off, I ain't going to have shit for a long ass fucking time. You know, she was probably sitting there thinking, like, listen, vagina smells like a fucking sardine can. My ass is constantly fucking leaking random fucking juices, and we don't know what the fuck or why the fuck it smells the way it does. She got under boob sweat that just fucking leaks all over the fucking place, and it's not even fucking sweat. It drips down her fucking stomach, and then drips to the fucking ground, and it's various different fucking colors, and it smells like literally dirty dick. It smells like dirty dick and balls. I don't know why under her tits smell like dirty dick and balls, but they fucking do. They fucking do. They do. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy T. God damn, appreciate it. But they do. She's completely fucking disgusting. I've seen this bitch bald. Like, <laughs> like, nah, yeah. Like, listen here, you overweight, stone cold Steve Austin. Give me a hell no. Um, I don't. I I, I get why she's mad. But what I don't get is how she claimed. I was clout chasing her when she got more subs, but I get more views. And then during the whole conversation of her raging on me, she pretended like she didn't know who I was, but then went from that right into literally naming everything the trolls ever said about me. She was like, yeah, his house was disgusting and his kids and blah, blah, blah. First off, bitch, you can keep my kids out your fucking mouth, but hey, Hey, I got four fucking beautiful children, and I have full custody of all four beautiful fucking children. Those kids are my fucking life. And you know what? You'll never get the chance to fucking experience that shit because you can't survive being fucking pregnant. So let that sink in, bitch, before you talk about someone else's fucking kids or or someone being a fucking mother or a father or whatever the fuck you want to talk about and throw shots about. You can't have them. You can't, you already, you are already walking around looking like fucking Octo Mom. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? If you were to get pregnant, it you would break the internet. Like, honestly, every reaction channel out there would be like, God damn, we are about to see a hell of a nine-month transformation. Holy shit. 
Everybody buckle up, get ready for the fucking ride. This bitch is about to explode. Like, you, you would not be able to fucking do it. You already walk like you're doing the dance from fucking weekends of Bernie's. You fucking got your head all up. Your belly button's pointing to the fucking sky. And you want to sit there and throw shots at other people. And I don't think anybody would ever picture you as a fucking mother. Holy shit. Bitch, you can't even take care of a fucking cat. The fuck? I remember... I remember the other fucking cat. Was it BBJ? Was it BBJ? Yeah, bare blowjobs, right? Because you fucking named your cat BBJ, you fucking idiot. But the other fucking cat had matted fur with fucking shit all over it. What the fuck? Like, you can't talk about anybody's fucking parenting. You can't take care of a fucking kitty cat, bitch. Are you kidding me? That baby would be walking around with the shittiest diaper in the fucking house, but still would be cleaner than fucking you. God damn. It's time to about somebody's parenting and their fucking kids. Oh, and then and then I seen you had your pinky up when you were talking about me. I didn't know what that meant. I just thought you had Tourette's. Like, but everyone was like, hit me up. Yo, you made her put the pinky up. And I'm like, what's that even mean? <laughs> I just thought she was retarded. I, I, you know, cause she kept doing it. She's like, you know, and I was like, oh my God, poor thing. She got fucking Tourette's or palsy or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on. She keeps randomly throwing up a pinky. I, you know, they're like, no, that's, that's when you know you really pissed her off. And I was like, oh, okay. So, so when she gets pissed, she puts a pinky up. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. I thought she was just showing everybody what, what her husband's dick size was. That's that's what I thought. I, you know, I thought she was like, yep, that's it. You know, because a couple times I had it on mute. So when she did that, I looked in the chat like, oh, shit, is he there? Is he there? Is he there? Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. She kept putting the pinky up. Everybody was telling me, they're like, yo, you made her fucking rage. You made her fucking rage. Well... There's a lot more of that to come. <laughs> I, I promise you. Um, but I wasn't even going to go hard on you for real, for real. When I covered you, I was just going to, you know, cover you, you know, react to you. And then just try to take your fucking channel down. Because you you don't deserve to be on this fucking platform. And you are a disgusting piece of shit. And my goal at the end of this is to deplatform you and take you off of this fucking platform. But then you started talking about my kids. Why do... Why do people go after my kids, man? Every single time. Every time. Like you, you listen, you know you lost when you got to go after somebody's fucking kids. You've already fucking lost. When you have to go at someone's children, you lost. That is it. It is over. You have lost. You lose. Good day, sir. You lost. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200 donuts. You lost. And you start talking about my fucking kids. Man. Not even knowing what the fuck you're talking about. You know, for somebody who had no idea who I was, you seem to know so much about me from what the trolls have said about me over the years. And then she got real closer to the camera and she said, and no one's scared of you. And then she said, I need to be scared of her. I need to be scared of you. The only time I would ever be scared of you is if me and you were at a buffet because we're, we're both fucking fat. But I already know if you're in front of me, I'm not getting shit. That's the only time I would be scared of you. That's it. That's it. Bottom line. That's it. Other than that, well, maybe a cookout. But other than that, <laughs> maybe Thanksgiving. But other than that, Christmas dinner. But other than that, wedding reception. But other than that, that's a big fucking cake, too. Definitely wedding reception. Definitely. For sure. But other than that, <laughs> other than that, nah. I wouldn't be scared of you. Who is scared of you? 
you fucking floating Goodyear blimp. Like this, this bitch, I don't know how you talk shit on people. And you talk shit on people that are way more beautiful than you, like Breezy. Like, you, you don't compare to Breezy. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, she had Breezy's name in her fucking mind, and she got to get a man, blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, Madison, that's that's the phrase that, yeah, that's the phrase we have come up with. Look at Madison Taylor's comment. We're going to put that on T-shirts, guys. I came up with that earlier. Yes, cool, Kuwait. <laughs> Spelled K-U-W-E-I-G-H motherfucking T. I'm going to put that, that word on a T-shirt with her big ass fucking face on it. I'm coming out with foodie beauty fucking merch. Sue me, bitch. Sue me from Kuwait. <laughs> I actually bought some, uh, I actually bought some Skype credits for Kuwait because I plan on having a little fun. See, you, you have no idea. Like I'm not, I'm not one of these little reaction channels that, 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 that react to you. They're great because they trigger you. I'm going to just fuck you up. See, that's the difference. That's the difference. Um, I'm going to fuck you up because I, I've never followed you per se, like actually followed you. But over the years, I've seen clips. I've heard stuff. I've popped into a couple lives, you know, live streams. I remember when you were with that other fucking weirdo with the fucking glasses. I remember that shit. I remember all that. But see, you, you must not know. Maybe you should go ask this nigga named uh, Real Talk with Jake if if we can reach people that are overseas because he's from New Zealand and nobody knew his identity. For seven years on YouTube, nobody knew who he was, a face, nothing. They, they didn't know what he looked like. All they seen was the one time he cammed up and showed his fucking tongue sticking out. That's all they ever fucking seen. He had sunglasses on. It took us three days, 72 hours. We found him. We found the entire family. We found every business they fucking own. We found his picture. We found his face. And that shit was fucking blasted. And he crawled into his fucking hole. And he's barely ever seen again. He comes out every fucking now and then to pop his fucking head out. But everybody already fucking knows that he caught that fucking L and he got fucked up. So just because you're in Kuwait, it does not mean that I ain't got no go go gadget nigga arm and I'm gonna throw that bitch all the way in Kuwait and I'm gonna fuck your shit up you got no fucking clue you gonna talk about my kids you gonna talk about my kids alright well that's fine that's fine cause that just makes everything that I'm gonna do to you that much fucking sweeter it does it does. You are fucking disgusting. You are repulsive. The way that you manipulate and lie to people is fucking disgusting. And you have these new people that literally watch your shit and they watch your content and they find you on TikTok and they come over and they don't know who the fuck you really are. But I'm going to make it a mission to make sure that every one of those people know who the fuck you are. Matter of fact, you know, hey, maybe one of these days... I might make a little TikTok channel and uh, I might pop up and go head to head with you, right? You know, I might just, I might name myself uh, Alyssa McGee and you won't even know it's me. And I'm going to pop my ass up there on TikTok side by side with your bitch ass live and just fucking go in on your dumb ass until you fucking drop me. By the way, while we're speaking on TikTok real quick. Did you really think that it was a smart decision to do those head-to-head -head things with beautiful women on TikTok? Um, did you? I mean, because I, I seen that shit, and that was fucking embarrassing. That was like, like, like literally, your fucking husband. How, how do you say his name? Salah? As I said, I just call him Timu Aladdin. How do you say it? Salah? Salad? Sa Salah? So, I don't know. I don't give a fuck. But... That dude was scouting his next fucking side chick. Like, he definitely was. He was for sure in that bitch scouting his next side chick. And you know what? One of them came up. One of them came up, and Timu Aladdin's eyes got big because that chick looked like fucking Princess Jasmine. Man, she came up there, and you could see your eyes start twitching. Your lips got fucking firm. He was like... 
Because you just couldn't fucking take it. You couldn't take the fact that somebody was more beautiful than you. But I don't know how you don't realize that because everybody is more beautiful than you. Uh, fuck that. Turn that shit off. Uh-uh. No, not for you. You don't get purge alarms, Nicolina. Not for you. No. <laughs> no. No. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Nope. My fucking foot is still on your fucking neck, bitch. Get the fuck out. I don't care how many fucking memberships you buy. Suck my whole fucking dick all the way to the back to the fucking balls while the rest of the tip fucking tickles your vocal cords. Suck a dick. Fuck out of here. But, but, she was going head to head. <laughs> you may want to apply for that refund, bitch. Um, but she was going head to head and like... It was so embarrassing. Okay, so so like you know how on TikTok you can go head to head with people and like people like buy s- stuff and there's a bar meter at the top and it's like whoever gets the most support wins and this bitch got slaughtered. Foodie booty got fucking slaughtered. <laughs> what up, Kai Bella? There, hey, there's by the way, there's Kai Bella right there in the chat if you want to subscribe to her as well. She will be here live Saturday, like I said, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the live interview, and she's going to be coming with some fucking heat. But, Footy Booty got fucking slaughtered. Like, I like I literally was just like, holy shit. <laughs> like, there, there's no fucking way. Like, why? Why? Why would you do, why would you set yourself up for failure? Why? <laughs> Like, that's like, that's like me being, Check in a, let's say, bitch. a group of people. Maybe we're at an event or something. And they're like, hey, hey, crowd of people over there. Come here. All right, listen, we're doing a social experiment. We need the skinniest person in the crowd to step forward to get on this scale. And that's like me looking around and walking forward like, I'll do it. <laughs> Checkmate, bitch. What? I know someone has family in Canada. Like, Don't you? Like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that because that set myself up for fucking failure. I'm gonna step on that bitch. I go look at the numbers, and be like, you're, you're. There's no way you're the. There's no way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a couple people skinnier than you. You know what I mean? Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying, and I don't, I don't know if that is Nicolina or not. I don't know. If, if it wasn't Nicolina, then whoever that is, I fucking love you. But if it is Nicolina, suck the whole fucking dick. But I'm just saying, though, it was like <laughs> she set herself up for fucking failure. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, why? Why? Why would you do? Why would you do a, a side by side head to head with all these beautiful fucking women? I think even a even a dude beat her at one point. Some guy went up there and fucking beat her or something. I <laughs> He got beat by a guy. Like, even the dudes were like, mm you ain't getting my fucking money. Here you go, bruh. <laughs> hey, here you go, bruh. Boom. And gave the fucking money. Like, <laughs> the fuck? God damn. I don't know. I don't know. This bitch, I'm going to, listen, I'm going to enjoy. Oh, my God. I'm going to enjoy this ride that we're about to go on with your bitch ass. I'm going to enjoy every fucking second of it because you are genuinely a piece of shit. And when it comes to fucking stupidity, you're at the top of the fucking list. When it comes to content based off of stupidity, you're at the top of the fucking list. And when it comes to content based off of complete fucking train wrecks, you're definitely at the top of the fucking list. Not to mention, not to mention, it's not, it's not too hard to fucking trigger you. It really, it really isn't. It really isn't. Um, but Saturday, like Saturday is just the beginning. We're going to set the record fucking straight on some shit. Kybella got some shit she wants to fucking talk about. She got some shit she wants to fucking address. She going to set the record straight on a lot of fucking things, clear some fucking rumors. And then after that, your ass is all fucking mine. All of it. The whole flat, big ass fucking thing. 
No big old billboard of a fucking ass. That ass is mine. That ass is mine. And you know what? Your husband ain't going to do shit about it, but sit there and be a little pussy ass fucking bitch like he always fucking is. Hey, you know what? We got a lot of beautiful women over here in this community. You never know. He might fucking cheat on you again. <laughs> he he just might. He just might cheat on you again. He just might. I'm just saying. God damn. Fucking Dunkin' Donuts hoarder. Are you fucking kidding me? Like I said, I bet you this, I bet you this bitch's fucking trash area is nothing but fast food fucking containers. Like. I swear to God, I swear to God, I bet you her trash is just nothing but fast food. Like, does this bitch cook? I've never seen her cook. I've seen her, I've seen her get cooked for, but I've never actually seen this bitch cook. Can she cook? Does she, has she ever cooked on a live stream? Has, has she ever did that at all? No, yes, no, maybe so. Hey, I don't know. I don't know, it, it, because it, I swear to God, every time I've seen this bitch, she's fucking eating, and it's not a home-cooked meal. It's ridiculous. <laughs> she's constantly, like, this, this bitch, literally, <laughs> this bitch has an Apple shortcut for her DoorDash orders. Like, she literally says to Siri, she puts that shit on, she's like, Siri, order a number one from DoorDash, and everything's already in place, it goes in, places the order, it places, you know, like a hundred bucks worth of food, does it all for her. She got it like in numerical order and she has each number memorized on what order that is. It's fucking nuts. It's crazy. She literally just picked up the phone, you know, yeah, hey, Siri, yeah, order me a number one. And Siri's like, okay, coming up and boom, that bitch got it. She got, she got fucking snacks. She got, she got a snack subscription from Amazon. She automatically gets a new box of snacks every month. That shit's on auto ship. <laughs> and don't let that shit be late. Man, don't let that. And you know what? Not only don't let it be late, but you better not be short on any of her fucking candy. She she going to fucking weigh that shit. She going to make sure that every little bit of that fucking candy is in there. I promise you. <laughs> she going to fucking weigh it. She going to do it. Man. She going to she going to open up that sour patch fucking bag and be like, "Hold up. There's supposed to be 50 in here." <laughs> Everyone else is just sitting around like, "How the fuck does she know that?" You know what I mean? She's like, "Nope, there's 48." And they're like, "Holy shit, how does she know that?" One time, I swear to God, they started counting them, her and her husband, fucking Timu Aladdin, and they started counting them. She was right. There was 48. He was like, how the fuck? She's so smart. And it was like, no, she's just fat. She's fat. She's used to looking at Sour Patch Kids and she knows exactly the exact fucking number by eyes. How much would be in that fucking bag? You can't, you can't fuck. Yeah, look, you can't fool her when it comes to fucking food. I'm telling you that right now. Don't try to pull a fast one. It ain't going to fucking work. She will go to McDonald's and she will tell you straight up, like, yo, you're one onion short, bitch. And they, they will have to fix that shit. Don't fuck with her. But she said, I got to be scared, though. She said, I got to be scared of her. I don't know what y'all think. What y'all think? Should I be scared of her? I, I, don't, I don't know, guest mob. Are, are we scared of her? Should, should we be scared of foodie beauty? Should we be? Should, should, should we be scared of her? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> She's she said we should be scared of her. So I ain't the one to fuck with. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you've done a marvelous job at shutting down the people that are already bitch smacking you on a fucking daily basis, huh? Yeah, no, you've you've done great. Yeah, you've shut them all down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, last time I checked, they're all still talking. They're all still streaming. They're all still getting more views than you and making you look like a fucking idiot. But you know what's crazy to me? What's crazy to me is how how are you so mad at everybody else for bringing up the situation with you and your husband, but you ain't mad at your fucking husband? How are you going to sit there and call Kybella a hoe and a slut and all this shit? If she is a hoe and a slut and all that, what does that make him? You can't only talk on one of them. They both did the shit, right? He cheated on you. 
He should have knew better. It ain't her fucking responsibility to tell him, no, don't cheat on your wife. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, how the fuck you going to talk shit on her when literally your husband fucking did it? You're going to sit there in the same breath, call him babe, and then call her a hoe. How the fuck do you manage that? He did it in your house, behind your back. That motherfucker was probably lit. First off, I I heard a story that this bitch was in the ER, and he was cheating on her, sending voice messages, talking about, I'm going to shut on you. I'm going to shut on you. Shut on you. Woof, woof. I'm going to... Fucking poop all over your chest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do nasty, disgusting things to you. You have no clue. You have no clue what I'm going to do. I'm going to finger paint in this shit all over your back and spell my name, autograph it, and poop. Like, I was like, the fuck? And he did this while he was in the hospital? God damn. That's fucking ruthless. That's ruthless. This bitch is in the hospital. He's like, oh, thank God. Now's my chance. <laughs> the fuck? You was in the you was in the hospital. And he sees the opportunity. That's your husband. <laughs> That's your man's. Yeah, yeah, no, you was in the fucking hospital. Oh, but you mad at everybody else. You mad at everybody else. Now, you know what I think it is? I think you I think you legitimately are fucking pissed off at him, but you know you can't show it because you know that really you are in no position to be mad. You know that. Because in a split second, he'll be like, you know what, big bitch? <laughs> you know what? Get the fuck out. Take your bitch ass back to fucking Canada. Like, you can't be mad. So you take it out on everybody else. But I know what you're really mad about. You're mad at him. You ain't mad at Breezy. You ain't mad at me. You ain't mad at all the other reactors. I think most importantly, I think you're mad at yourself. Because I think day by day, you realize that you like a whole fucking bitch right now. You look like a whole ass fucking bitch because he publicly cheated on you. And you took him back. But then you trashed the woman that he cheated with. But then you said you forgave him. And the the part that got me today, she said she was she was mad. She was fucking pissed on this subject because people were asking questions. Definitely not me. I wasn't in there with fucking five accounts. It wasn't me. But there was people asking questions like, hey, is he going to cheat again? And she was getting pissed. She was like, listen, I'm not I'm not even upset about it because, we, you know, we spoke about it. And I know I know why he did it. What? What? <laughs> you know why he did it? I, I, you know I could answer that for you. If I could mirror, bitch, mirror, mirror. That's why he did it. Get a fucking mirror. Get a, get a, actually get a mirror and get a fucking tic tac so your cat can stop running for the fucking hills every time it sniffs your breath. Mirror. And Tic Tacs, bitch. That's what you need to fucking do. You need to do a Tic Tac mukbang. All the fucking flavors. Side note, orange is the fucking best. Orange is goaded. Nothing beats orange. But you need to do a fucking mukbang of Tic Tacs. Mukbang Tic Tacs. Tic Tac mukbang. All the flavors of the Tic Tacs. That way, at least your fat ass can fucking eat and accomplish something at the same time. Just saying. At least you can eat some fucking Tic Tacs and stop fucking scaring the shit out of your fucking cat. Do you know how bad your breath got to stink for your cat to be all up on you and shit? You hugging it and the cat goes. And then fucking takes off (laughs) every fucking time. It happened again. Was it today? I think or last night. She had the fucking cat. She's like, oh, you have these hands. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. No. We we need a cat. We need a cat. Give me give me my Yeti. Give me. <laughs> give me fuck. Listen. Uh, we're low. We're low on fucking props, all right? <laughs> we're low on props. This is my cat. She's got the cat. She's like, oh, you're so cute. Oh my god. Uh, uh. And then the cat. She, her mouth was open. The cat sniffed. Cat went, 
sniffed her mouth, and the cat took the fuck off. And she tried to play it off. She was like, oh, I know you're not acting like that when you eat tuna and fish and shrimp and all that cat food, all that seafood and all that. I know you're not acting like my breast, but bitch, that, that, thank you. Yeah, no, you just, you just proved the point. Yeah, yeah, your cat eats all that. It eats all that. And it sniffed your breath. It was like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> That cat was like, I'm about to go sniff my own ass so I can get rid of that smell. <laughs> like, God damn. Your cat took off and started sniffing its own ass like, oh, I gotta get rid of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how bad your breath gotta be when your cat jumps off you to go sniff its own ass to get rid of the smell? That's fucking horrible. That's horrible. Oh my God. <laughs> Your breath is fucking horrible. Like, I'm I'm inclined to know how. What the fuck do you like? Do you not brush your teeth? Like, how how is it so bad? <laughs> like, are, are are you not brushing your teeth? Or I don't I don't know. I don't know. Does your husband's dick stink? Like the, the are you are you just sucking on dick cheese? Like, is that is that what this is? Is that what this is? <laughs> Dude, fucking ejaculates in her mouth. Looks like blue cheese crumbles coming out. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm. East infection, I have an ass. But but aside from the the walking yeast infection, saying that I should be scared of her somehow. Um. My end goal is to take you off fucking YouTube. And you know, my recent record has actually been pretty good at that. Like there were, there was, you know, listen, there was a time when I kind of was not fully, you know, giving it my all. And I was like, eh, whatever, let's do this YouTube shit. But I think anybody that's ever followed me for years, or even a couple years, whenever, they know. October... Oh, it was a whole new fucking ball game. Whole new fucking ball game. <laughs> October, it was when I came back in October. See, see, listen, I, I had stepped away for a period of time, right? The reason why I stepped away for a period of time is because I'll be honest with you. I was getting burnt out. Like I was feuding with the same people over here over and over again. It's like there's there's only so many times I can expose Tina. There's only so many times I can expose Charlie. You know what I mean? There's only so many times I can do this shit. So it was getting to the point where I was just like, yo, like, the fuck am I doing? Like, I, like I was getting bored of my own fucking streams. I was like, like I don't want to do this shit no more. You know what I mean? So I took a break. Well, it was a retirement. I, I Listen, I didn't plan on coming back. I retired for a year. Literally. A whole last fucking year. I retired, and uh, during that period of time, people wouldn't shut the fuck up about me. They kept talking about me and talking shit on me and spreading rumors about me, and I was just like, oh, I'm retired, man. I, I ain't, you know, whatever. Say what you want. I don't give a fuck. I'm retired, but then it got disgusting. They start coming after my fucking children and shit, and that's when I was like, all right, you know what? Fuck it. Not only am I going to come back, I'm going to come back better than ever. And I'm not only going to address the drama in my own community. Fuck it. Let's cover any fucking community. Because there's a lot of fuck shit going on, on on this fucking platform. Why should I reserve calling people out for their bullshit to just the AGP drama community? Fuck that shit. Let's do all of this shit. And if anybody has followed me, then you know, especially the past couple months, I'm on my fucking A game. <laughs> I'm on my A game. If there was ever a time when OG Guest Mob was back, it's been the past couple fucking months. But I don't think OG Guest Mob is back. I think we are now better than what we've ever fucking been. By far. And it ain't even fucking close. We are better than we ever have been. We are a well-oiled machine of exposing and whooping that ass. And I can't wait to do it to you.
foodie beauty. I can't wait. I can't wait. I mean, listen, I've been doing so good. When I talk to Crystal on the phone, she calls me the legend. Every single time I, I call her and she, you know, she ain't hello. And I'm like, what up? She's like, oh, hey, legend. I'm like, what's up? You know what I mean? I, I, but I keep telling her, stop calling me. I'm like, listen, I'm humble. I'm humble. Don't call me that. I'm humble. I'm a Christian man. I actually, hey, I actually am Christian. I go to church Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Bible study. And then Sundays, 11 a.m. church. I do. Yep, straight up. For sure. Absolutely. But, but, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, Kristen always be doing that shit, man. You know, she's like, you're on your A-game. You're the legend. You're the greatest. And I'm like, calm down. Calm down. I'm humble. Calm down. Uh, Chris need to learn to fucking answer her phone too. Um, but Ernie dying? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Let me just stop. <laughs> I was gonna say some fuck shit, but no, don't don't fucking say. It. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. But <laughs> Chris is like, no, the fuck she doesn't. All right, maybe she doesn't. But I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, it was believable. It, you know, it was believable. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't call. Well, actually, no, she did. Yeah, I know. I actually have a screenshot where she actually did say it, and she can't fucking deny it. She did. She said it. She said it, and I have a screenshot of it. Just swear to God. Swear to fucking God. I also got an audio clip of it because when she said it, I recorded her. Swear to God, I do. Swear to God. I, I, I will make that the new Super Chat sound. Anybody say, anytime somebody sends Super Chat, it's going to be Kristen being like, you're the legend. <laughs> You're the legend. You guys are getting tired of hearing her voice. You're the legend. But no, um, I I can't wait because I'll be honest with you. A lot of people have asked me over the years to cover Foodie Beauty. Um, my mods have asked me to cover Foodie Beauty a lot of fucking times. Um, they're they're like over the years, and and I I had these two mods back in the day. We ain't too cool right now, but I'll tell the story anyway. Uh, Starshine and Amanda. And they came to me one time, and they were like, Isaac, have you ever heard of Foodie Beauty? And I was like, who, who does, who, who's that? What the, what the fuck is a Foodie Booty? What the, a, a Foodie Booty? And they, you know, they said, no, Foodie Beauty. And I was like, Fo- Foodie Beauty. And they said, yeah, Foodie Beauty. I said, well, who the fuck is Foodie Beauty? They're like, oh, it's this big bitch, and she's a piece of shit. And they're like, man, you you would whoop her ass if you went head to head with her. And I was like, well, who is she though? And this is you know during the time we're talking about four years ago. And this is during the time when I'm focused solely on the AGP drama community. This is our shit, and my job is I'm keeping this shit fucking clean, getting the fuck shit out of it, and exposing the fuck shit in it. So I, you know, I was like, listen, I, I don't want to just go over there and insert myself i mean i'm sure they they can handle it over there and they, they were like no nah, trust me you 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 gotta you gotta do it you gotta do it and i'm like eh. and they sent me some videos and i was watching them and i was like eh. i mean she is a cunt bitch <laughs> and she is fucking disgusting and this is like before she was wearing hijabs and shit like, this bitch was, like, stark naked, just shaking her stomach all over the place. And I was like, what the fuck? The reincarnation of Fat Boy Get Down. <laughs> what the fuck? He was shaking her shit all over the place, man. I was just like, ah, oh, what the fuck is this? You know, and every now and then, every, every three to four months, they would hit me up and be like, Isaac, I'm telling you, you need to cover this bitch. We need to go to Girl World. We need to bring guest mob to Girl World to go at fucking Foodie Beauty. I was like, nah, nah. We got, we got a lot of stuff we're dealing with over here. Blah, 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 blah. And then, and then I remember, I remember hearing about a cat. And I remember seeing this video. People are talking about it, right? There's a cat. I guess somebody was going to adopt her fucking cat. And once I started putting the puzzle pieces together, I was like, oh, there ain't no fucking way. And this chick named FFG, uh, French fry girl, she had a stream scheduled or some shit. 
And people, everybody was talking about it, like, oh, she's going to laugh tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I was sitting there. I was like, there ain't no fucking way. There's no fucking way this bitch got the cat. There's no fucking way this bitch got the cat. I Listen, Whitney can vouch. She's my mod. I remember saying to Whitney, I'm like, if this bitch got the fucking cat, I swear to God, I'm marking out. That's that's some shit. That's some shit. On YouTube, that's some shit. <laughs> If she got this fucking cat, that's curtains. It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's over. She went live. She had the fucking cat. I was like, ain't this a bitch? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. She got the fucking cat. She took her cat. Because she told, she told Foodie Beauty... Well, somebody told Voodoo Beauty they wanted to adopt a cat, blah, 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 blah. And if she had somebody, I think it was her brother, show up to pick up the fucking cat. And Foodie Beauty gave him the cat. This motherfucker's on video. <laughs> While uh, the other weird dude was at the top of the steps filming. This motherfucker's on video picking up the fucking cat. She hands the cat over, and little did she know, she was handing her cat to her worst fucking enemy on fucking YouTube. Holy shit. I remember me, Whitney, all of us was over here like, oh my God. That, okay, that was good. And, and I remember watching that shit and be like, man, like she really got hers. Holy shit. And she was threatening to sue she was threatening the police, all that shit. And, but but tell me, uh, Chantel, what what happened from that though? Because uh, she still got the cat. I I don't think you sued her. Um, I yeah no, I don't think you sued her. Uh, I don't think the cops did anything. Uh, yeah, I don't think anything happened out of that. Um, and but I'm supposed to be scared of you though, right? I mean, you you can't even get shit done. Um, but I I remember watching that shit. And I was like, that was a, that was a gangster fucking move. Props where it's fucking due. That was a gangster fucking move. Holy shit. Holy shit. She took the fucking cat. And I was following that. I was. I was following. And the more I followed the, the whole situation, the more I disliked this fucking bitch, man. Like, the more I watched Foodie Beauty, I was like, she's so fucking disgusting. She's, <laughs> she's so fucking disgusting. Like, ugh. Ugh. God, and then and then the other part was like, how are, how is this guy fucking her? Like, I was so confused. I was so confused because it was just the whole thing, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, like this shit was just a mind fuck. The whole everything was a mind fuck. But then, you know, I retired, a little, you know, after that. And I was gone for a year and blah, 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 you know. But then I started to start to watch clips again, you know. Start hearing about shit. Start hearing about shit. Hearing about her rages and her visa fucking trips. And she's going to Kuwait. You know, you know the whole thing. Your know, foodie beauty goes to Kuwait. Which, by the way, is the most boring fucking content you've ever put out, bitch. Like, nobody wants to see you in fucking Kuwait. Take your dumb ass back to fucking Canada. God damn. Like, listen, everybody knows y'all ain't fucking. Like, there ain't shit going on. Just get the fuck out of there. God damn. Just get the fuck out. You ain't doing shit. I mean, God, can you imagine her... Never mind. Shut up, Isaac. No, actually, you know what? Don't shut up, Isaac. Can you imagine her riding dick? Oh my God. Wow. Thank you, Jose. I appreciate it. Jose says, protect the cat. Don't let it happen like Mama Titans with MFW. Oh boy, fuck. Yeah, no, that was a that was a fuck situation right there, Mama, Mama Titans. But I'm just saying though. I'm just saying. Like, I I started watching more and more. And the more I watched, the more I hated this bitch, man, because she's so fucking repulsive and she lies so much. And like, if anybody is, is even half decent on reading body language, then you easily can see how much this bitch fucking lies. 
Like, seriously, she lies so fucking much. It's constant. It's constant. <laughs> it's constant. Oh, fuck. Hold on. White Tupac says, dude, you can't even get it in a girl. You're too fat. I got four kids, and I bet you I can get it in your girl's fucking mouth the same way my dick's in yours right now. Pull it out so I can get it back. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but seriously, like, the more... <laughs> Don't come for me, man. I'll just bitch smack you and move on. That's just how I roll over here. There you go. There's a fat joke. Use it. <laughs> but I started to not like this bitch a lot, you know? And then it was just, you know, the stars fucking aligned, man. The stars aligned because I heard that Mark Rydell, who was a level three sex offender, was in her community. And I'm the one that exposed him because he's from this community. And I exposed him for being a level three sex offender. Yeah. He actually raped a little girl. Checkmate, bitch. That was 15 years Protect old. Protect the cat. Don't let it happen like your mom and Tittens with MFW. That was 19 years old. Now, he's now confined to a wheelchair because the 19-year-old victim managed to escape. And while, while escaping and while he was running after her, she kicked him down a flight of fucking stairs. His back's fucked. He's in a wheelchair. And he was over there in her community. And somebody tipped me off and said, yo, Mark Rydell is over there in her community under Drama King. And they sent me the evidence. And he was. He was in her fucking chats. And she was allowing it. And people were telling her. And they were saying, hey, this guy right here is a fucking pedophile. And she was just letting it go. While she has a child as a moderator that donates money to her from what I was fucking told. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I was told that the, that the motherfucker is donating money. Interesting. Interesting. So she got a child in her fucking community, in her chat, with a level three sex offender in there. Let that sink in. And she was okay with it. She was cool with it. Well, once I found out about this, because me and Mark have history, and he knows that um, when it comes to him, I don't fuck around. So I messaged him on Facebook, and I said, I thought we had an agreement you're not to be on this fucking platform. And he was like, mm, what do you mean? I'm, I'm not doing nothing. I, I'm not even near Guest Mob. I said, no, 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 no. I didn't say don't come near Guest Mob. I said, get the fuck out of here. I said, you are a level three sex offender. Get the fuck out of here. So I told him it's time to go. And on Facebook Messenger, he handed over his email and password. <laughs> and I logged in and I went live on his channel, did the whole pre-show and everything. And then I announced that Mark Rydell was getting the fuck off of YouTube. And then live on his channel, I screen shared myself going into the settings and fucking deleting it. He's gone. But then while I was, I was over there, that's how I came in touch with Breezy. Breezy's fine ass. So I'm talking to Breezy. Next thing I know, I got a I got a random fucking six foot one male prostitute that pretends to be a woman talking shit on me named He Kate. He Kate daughter. I'm like, who the fuck is this bitch? And why is she talking shit on me? Well, she was just talking shit on me because I was cool with Breezy. I'll be honest with you, though. I know why she's pissed. She's pissed because when I came to Girl World, she wanted me on her side. <laughs> let's, let's be real here. The bitch has been caught laughing while reacting to my streams. She's just there like, I'm going to tell you he is a piece of shit. But when she was reacting to my, my, my roasting and shit, <coughs> the bitch... She, she, she fucking, she started laughing a couple times. She had to catch herself. So it's like, bitch, now we know what it is. You're jealous of Breezy. You wanted me on your side, but I went with Breezy. And you're sitting over there like, what the fuck? I didn't even get a chance. <laughs> 
You're like, hey, he didn't even notice me. Hello. And I'm just looking at you like, oh, that's a guy. Fuck. Uh, tuck it. Uh. <laughs> Keep that shit out of here. So she's now upset that I'm talking to Breezy. She's upset. Well, keep being upset. She's upset. Interesting. Hmm. Well, while I was over here, well, first I torched TK. I torched the fuck out that bitch. Because this bitch not only said disgusting shit about me, but then she said disgusting shit about my children. See, there's a woman from my community by the name of Morticia Adams. Back in 2017, December to be exact. She got pissed off because she got exposed and she called CPS on me and she made a false CPS report where she said that uh, my daughter was being molested and that she visibly seen my daughter's private area and had visible redness and irritation. And um, my daughter had, had had to go through a rape kit because of that. The cops showed up to the house with a the caseworker. They checked her in her crib and then they gave us 72 hours to take her to get her checked. Um you know, and, and as a parent, as a father, that, that's something I'll never forget. Well, she hooked up with this bitch. So he, Kate, hooked up with the Morticia chick, and that's her best friend. And she starts taking her content and playing it. The content of this bitch that was obsessed with me for seven fucking years. And she starts playing that shit, uh, ex- exposing me and shit. And then she made this disgusting comment where she says she supports th- the fact that she made a false CPS report. That, that she's okay with it and that she also plans on making false CPS reports to try to get um, my daughters to go through rape kits. And then she said that my daughter, who was two years old at the time, deserved 5,000 more and that she was purposely going to lie to get my daughter to go through another rape kit. So I went scorched earth on this bitch and I found her fucking docs, even though she's in fucking Canada. I had just happened to have somebody that hit me up there. They're in the community and they were like, hey, I kind of maybe possibly work for a government office right there in Toronto, Canada. I know that Canada's laws are locked up when it comes to information, but you know, I might be able to do so. I don't know. I might be able to look up something. And I was just like, oh, Bobby, yeah, I appreciate it. And I found the bitch. Found location, everything, license plate number, all this shit, all of it. And it somehow got put out. Don't look at me, I don't know. But it somehow got put out. And I also roasted the bitch. I mean, I fucked, that's, that's how it started. My response to her was a fucking roast that like three, four, five different reaction channels and fucking girl world reacted to. I torched this bitch in like fucking 15 minutes, 15 minutes, torched her. She didn't like that. So then she turned around. She did a 12 hour drunk stream on me. She was drunk as fuck. 12 hours, 12 hours. She did a whole 12 hours and she's been obsessed ever since, but she got torched. She was old news. And then I kind of looked around and I was like, you know what? My whole reason for being here now was for Mark Rydell, but He's gone. The prostitute, she's old news, but you know what? This is the time. This is the time that I need to finally give Foodie Beauty my attention. This is the time. This is the time. Fucking hit my mic. This is the time. So I started watching some content every now and then, watching some videos. I even reacted to some shit a couple weeks ago, right here on this channel. And I made it clear what my end goal was. To deplatform this bitch and take her off of YouTube. Take her off completely. Take your bitch ass to TikTok. Ticky tacky. Get the fuck out. Um, so I guess. Um, to the people that are from girl world, um, hello, <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Um, I, I, I guess we're here for a little bit. 
I guess we're here. Breezy says, we're glad you're here. Welcome to Girl World. <laughs> we're here. It's like it's like Bray Wyatt. Rest in peace. It's like Bray Wyatt with the fucking lyrics. Like, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> I want to do it. Just to do it. Hold on. I'm going to do it. I just want to. I'm going to. We're here. All right. I did it. I did it. I did just like Bray Wyatt. I said, I said, I said, we're here. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. But we're here. <laughs> we're here. And I got one goal. I'm not worried about nobody else. I'm not worried about no other creators. I'm not worried about no reaction channels. I'm not worried about your mama or I'm not worried about your mama's mama. I'm not worried about none of them. I'm not worried about he Kate. I'm not worried about that. Although, if there's people going after fucking kids, I will call that shit out. And if you're going to go after fucking children, I will fuck you up. Leave the kids fucking alone. Leave them out of your bullshit. But, but I ain't worried about that. I got one person in mind that I want to cover. That I want to get a plan together to take the fuck out. And that is clearly... Foodie beauty, you disgusting cunt bitch. Yeah. See, you 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 raged on me today. Somebody said, your mama's coming for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, for real, for real. And, 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 you know, he could take this however he wants to take it. I don't give a fuck. The dude would actually be pretty entertaining if he just stopped being a fucking dickhead to the wrong people. You know what I mean? And do, and just saying and doing disgusting things. Like, you don't got to go at somebody's fucking kids and shit or talk about their daughters or their parenting. You ain't got to do that shit to be entertaining. You know? I mean, you also don't have to dress like Prince either, but, you know, whatever. To, <laughs> to each their own. That'd be good, damn. Listen, motherfucker, college football's out. Get the fuck on college football. The fuck? I thought you was a gamer. I had that shit the, the day it came out early release. Go back to football. <laughs> but <laughs> Kai Bella said, cannot stand your mama. Yeah, nah, I, you know what? I ain't too fond of him. From I mean, shit that I was told, shit that I fucking seen. I, I, I went to call him because I was going to speak to him man to man, but... His mom answered, so I guess, you know, her phone's in his name or something, whatever. Whatever. She was pretty, you know, she's pretty nice. She was cool. <laughs> she was cool. But, no, no, no. Frodo, Frodo, listen, I'm telling you right now. I'm not worried about nobody else but Foodie Beauty. I want this bitch taken down. You, you disgusting fucking bitch. You talked about my kids today why why'd you do that ah man see see and that's that's where i gotta fuck you up that's where i gotta fuck you up may says isaac i'm a fat narcoleptic whore i'm not very liked out here hugs um <laughs> yeah um wow I disagree. Um, <laughs> I disagree with that. I disagree. I actually seen I actually seen May play a video on her live stream where she lifted her leg high in the air, and I've been a supporter ever since. Swear to God. Swear to God. <laughs> oh my God, I'm such a fucking dick. She's. Um, I probably just pissed off about eh, two to three different people with that comment. Uh, <coughs> next. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> uh, uh. Mm. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, but no, honestly, no, seriously. I, listen, end of the day, I want the bitch gone. She needs to be gone. She was already gone at one point, and somehow this big bitch came back. I don't fucking get it. I don't understand it. 
I don't get it or understand it, but she she was terminated and she came back. She came back. Well, she needs to fucking go again. She needs to go again. She needs to get the whole fuck out. Get the fuck out, lady. <laughs> you big bitch. Get the fuck out. It needs to happen. 100%. So, I'm going to try to do everything in my power to make that happen. I'm going to get a plan together. Um, <laughs> it might. It might. I don't know. It might rhyme with that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't know. Kicks are for kids. Or something. I don't know what the what the what the commercial said. I don't know. Kicks are for kids or nicks are for. I don't know what the fucking commercial. Oh, tricks, tricks, tricks. It was tricks. It was tricks. Yeah. Well, tricks are for YouTube too. Um, but I want to get a plan together. Because what what I like to do is I like to like, and I hate I hate using the word study, but it's a word I kind of got to use in this situation. I like to kind of study people, you know what I mean? I like to kind of study people, learn their triggers, you know, learn what's what's the what's the one thing, what's what's their point, like what's the point where I'm gonna I'm gonna zero in on what is it, what the fuck is it? And I think I found it. <laughs> when it comes to foodie beauty, I'm pretty sure I fucking found it. Mm. Now, we just got to put the plan in effect. And we will. By the way, join our Discord. If someone can post the Discord link in the chat. We're about to hit 400 people if we haven't already. That's where all the information is. We got We got chats for every fucking community in there. It's lit all fucking day. It's lit all day, all day, but, but, um, we're going to get a plan together and, um, she ain't going to see it coming. Like I said, I got some credits so I can call Kuwait. What did you think? Foodie beauty. I was just going to watch your videos. (laughs) That's not what I do over here. No, 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 boo, boo, no, no. Uh, I'm not gonna watch your videos. I'm gonna try to get them taken down. I'm gonna try to get your whole channel taken down. I've never seen someone so manipulative in my fucking life. Um, thank you, <laughs> thank you, bots. Yes, there's the everybody joined the Discord. By the way, we hit 47k today, so we're probably gonna be celebrating in there as well afterwards. And shit, just saying, you know, join the Discord. It's fucking lit. It's great. Get in there. Get in there. Why the fuck ain't you in there? Get in there. Um, another creator roasted he Kate today for supporting the false CPS call on Isaac. What? Who? No shit. Who? Hey, but quick question to the people that are in girl world, he can't, he can't like, she, she tries to say that she's like, she tries to say that she's, um, like the spokesperson for girl world. Like she's, she said, she said, I'm not welcome in, 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 in girl world. Like, so, so is that true? Is, is, is she like the spokesperson for girl world? Because he can't, he can't daughter. She, she said, I'm not welcome in, in, in girl world. I mean, she, she's been trying to run with lies, and most people don't even believe the bullshit she's saying. But, you know, she said that I'm not allowed over here. I'm not welcomed over here. So I was just like, well, I mean, I don't care. I'm, I mean, I'm still going to, you know, get the mission complete. But I don't know. She she She's trying to say she's like the spokesperson of the community. So I just wanted to double check on that, you know, just to see if that's the truth or not. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. She seems to think she is. She's over there kicking people out of girl world. Yeah, you ain't you ain't allowed over here. Get out. Like, bitch, who the fuck are you? You go live and you pull fucking 50. Like, shut up. God damn. And ain't you supposed to be a hooker? Why are you going live on weekends? Isn't that your busiest fucking time? Like, <laughs> the, like, like Friday, Friday, Saturday, like that's like the busiest time for a hooker, right? She's a prostitute. Go get your money, bitch. God damn. 
I never even heard of her until you said something about her. That's not, you know what? A lot of people have said that from Girl World. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. A lot of people in Girl World were like, I mean, we kind of heard about you, but who, who's this chick you're talking about in our community? So I don't fucking know. Maybe she's just a whole ass fucking liar. I don't fucking know. Now she's obsessed with Kimmy K and Albert. <laughs> the, the same, the same person. She's like, Isaac was fucked up for the shit she, he said about Albert. And then she's going at Albert now. It makes no fucking sense. It, it makes no fucking sense. Now, um, let's recap real quick. Foodie beauty, I'm fucking you up. Um, I don't know why you talked about my kids, but I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that um, that there there is something done, not only for that, but for all the other bullshit you've ever fucking done. Um, anybody will tell you, like, I'm fucking relentless. <laughs> I'm, I'm relentless. Like, I could lose the channel, and I will pop up on a backup and still go at that ass. Like, you know, I mean, I've never lost a channel. Well, okay, I lost this one that I'm on, but that was on purpose because when I was retired... All the trolls were like, bah, bah, bah. Isaac, the, Isaac's not retired because his channel's still there. If he was really retired, he wouldn't have a channel anymore. Blah, 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 blah. So I was like, suck my dick. And I posted a picture of this big black chick getting her big black ass ate at a fucking park. And I posted on my community page. And I was on the phone with Winnie when it happened. Two minutes later, maybe even less, channel was gone. I was like, there, boom, it's gone. Say something. And then when I came back in October... Guess what I did? I told everybody weeks prior, something's coming, something's coming, something's coming. And then I hit up YouTube and said, can I have my channel back? They said, yeah, sure. I said, thank you. And they reactivated my shit and my channel went back up. This is it. 47K now. And guess what? All the trolls like, how the fuck? <laughs> how did he terminate his own channel and then bring it back? They couldn't figure it out. They're like, how the fuck did he do that? How did he terminate his own channel and then just, like, Jesus, just rise. Brought that bitch right fucking back. <laughs> like, I literally, I brought the bitch back and I went on my community page. And I'm like, put the eyeballs on my community, but I'm like, guess who's back? And the trolls were like, ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. <laughs> That's a good question that maybe Foodie Beauty should ask herself. How did I terminate my own channel on purpose and then bring it back by sending an email? How did I do that? I mean, yeah, there's rumors. People say, oh, it's because he's Michael Green's best friend and Michael Green has millions of subs and contacts in YouTube and every, he's friends with Keem and blah, blah, blah. There's rumors, but there's nothing solid. How did I do it? How have I been struck 19 times in seven years and every single time it was gone within minutes? <laughs> Ain't that right, Ernie Show? Who tried to strike me the other night and that shit was gone within 10. <laughs> gone within 10 minutes. How is that possible? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but, but shit's going to get interesting. Shit's going to get interesting. Um, thank you to the ones from Girl World that um, have been supporting and popping into the streams and sending me information and clips and everything. And especially thank you to Breezy for giving me the warmest fucking welcome that I could have ever asked for. And it's for being so goddamn sexy as well. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. We need to start looking at Airbnbs, apparently. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. We need to start looking at some Airbnbs. That's the that's the rumor, right? I don't know. That's, that's what Foodie Beauty was saying and other people have said. But um, thank you. Seriously, thank you. And um, I know that Chantel's not well liked. I know there's gonna be people in Girl World that are gonna believe the bullshit that people like he Kate put out. <clears throat> Here's what I'll say though: when it comes to those people, um, any narrative that gets put out, I promise you, I got a receipt for. 
like, I wouldn't have the community I have now if that shit was fucking true. I mean, hell, my my ex-wife literally spoke out a week ago because they were trying to say I was this and I was that and I was a woman abuser and all this shit. And we got your back, Nikki. And she did a video pretty much telling them to go fuck themselves and she denounced all their fucking bullshit. And we hate each other, by the way. We do not like each other at all. Me and my ex-wife are not. Uh Uh-uh. No, we hate each other. But even she was like, no, this is some bullshit. Like, that's not who my husband is. And you're not going to fucking talk about my kids. Um, But I got a receipt. You know what I mean? Foodie B is going to run with anything she can run with. And I get it. It's part of the fucking game. You can run with anything you want to fucking run with. I don't care. (laughs) Wait, Mace. (laughs) P.S. Isaac, did you see Hello Starlight's toast? I have not, but I, I heard something about them being black. I <laughs> I heard they were dirty or something. I oh fuck. <laughs> Ugh, shit. <laughs> yeah, and I, you know, I'm I'm cool with her kinda, you know. We're cordial, but I heard she'd been on some fuck shit too, but damn. Man, not Bob. From what I've been seeing, man, she been getting fucked up recently. You gotta fight back or something. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Um, now, here's real quick. Um, so there's some documents, and I I already posted them on on my community page, but this is regarding Ernie Shell. Ernie Shell. Um, the documents prove 100% that, um, the motherfucker been lying about his military background and all types of shit. Um, it's, I mean, I'm looking at the paperwork right here in front of me. It says you are discharged from the army national guard and as a reserve of the army, it's one of the pages, another page says, let me see here, soldier was discharged without personal notice per NGR 600-200 para 8-21B and GBFM 22 was mailed uh, to soldier's last known address as shown in item number 19. Um, and pretty much the paperwork pretty much says that he, he well, hold on, I'll, I'll read the exact thing that it says, because I actually took some screenshots because there is uh, this person in there and they were kind of laying the groundwork, laying it out. Uh, yes, Angelo got this. Um, and then Earth sent it to me, Earth covered it. I was, I was fucking with Foodie Beat at the time, so I missed most of it, but I was able to get the screenshots of him explaining exactly what was being looked at. Um, he said he enlisted in September of 1999, which means he had to report March of 2000. He failed to report 90 days in, and it took them one year to finalize his separation. Um, he said RE minus three means that he needs three waivers to attempt to rejoin. Um, the, the people on them, the names, uh, he said, those are his original enlistment contacts. Uh, the paperwork says that he was kicked out, obviously, for failure to report to basic training and AIT. And this is why he does not have a DD-214. So, he lied. He lied. Now, I, I originally had the documents posted, and then somebody tipped me off. And they said, hey, Isaac, um... Part of that's not redacted. There's a, there might be, a, there might be a little bit of important information in there. So I took it down immediately, and we're gonna go through and we're gonna redact everything that needs to be redacted because there was, there was, a, there, there was a number. Oh boy, <laughs> there was a number on there that I was like, eh, nah, all right, I'll take it down now. You know, I can keep that up. 
I'm going to keep that up. So we're going to redact the information um, that we need to. <clears throat> and then uh, I'm going to, you know, re-release it publicly. Uh, I'm not going to show it tonight, even though I was planning on doing that. But um, I will say there's there's something else coming. I don't think I can say too much on it. But um, if you guys think this was good, that was covered today and what was covered in Earthstream and, you know, what Angelo put out, man, he, Ernie's about to get hit from all fucking sides. All fucking sides. Uh, he says, sorry, I had to call it out. No, actually, no, I appreciate you calling it out because I had no fucking clue. <laughs> like, I did a quick skim of the paperwork and I was like, oh, shit, all right. You know, and then I didn't realize that was in there. So I was like, fuck. <laughs> so no, thank you for that. Because I, I would not want that other person's information like that um, out there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, we need, yeah, no, nah, we had to get that down. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, definitely appreciate that. For real. For real. Um, now... <laughs> now I I I you know I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm just gonna say stay fucking tuned. There's some other people that got some shit coming. Man, Ernie, you done fucked up. You done fucked up. I mean, like from what I've been hearing, like Oh, this like like we talking smoking gun. We're like like, oof, oof. That shit gonna go everywhere when that shit hits the internet. Ernie, you fucked. You 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 are fucked, bro. You are fucked. Oh my god. Now, one thing I want to say is when we were going over everything with um, Karen and Karen was, was here. We had a conversation with Karen and we spoke with Karen about calling him out on his bullshit and calling him out for having a naked child, Summer Wells on his community page. And all he did was put a black bar over her fucking chest. It's her laying in a bed. Um, many people have asked him to take that picture down and he never wanted to, he never did. Well, we were speaking with Karen, she was on the panel here and, uh, she pretty much was like, all right, I'm going to go over after your stream. I'm going to go on this fucking panel cause he was live. And she said, I'm going to give him an ultimatum. So I was like, okay. All right, cool. So she went over there and she got on the panel. He was so creepy. Like he he had these weird predator creep vibes. You know what I mean? Like we, like these weird predator vibes where it was like, bro, you are fucking creepy. Creepy. Like like, literally everybody who was watching that all got the same feeling of like, ooh, what the fuck? And all she asked him to do was remove the picture. Okay? That's all she asked. It was for him to remove the picture off his community page. And he immediately started to fucking threaten her. Threaten to dox her. Said she had a surprise coming. All types of bullshit, man. And he and he came off so fucking weird and so fucking creepy. Um, here's what I'm gonna say. Because I'll be honest with you, I got a lot of work to do. I'm gathering information on you. I'm gathering information on fucking foodie beauty. We're preparing for that interview on 
Saturday. Um, we're actually going to have an entire Girl World intro created just for this stream and for future Girl World streams <clears throat> where we cover anything Girl World. So the um, the intro you've seen today will stay the same, but it's just going to be slightly different. You might see a new 30 to 45 seconds before we get into Judas and King of Kings and all that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a little something for the community. Um, get some dancers, you know. Get a get a new screen for the pre-show, a, a, a girl world pre-show party screen. Uh, we're gonna do it up. We're gonna do it up. So we're we're listen. Trust me, I tell you, my community. We're all putting in work over here. Um, People are gathering information. People are making dancers. People are editing intros. I mean, we're 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 all hands on deck right now. All hands on deck. But um, I think I want to do two streams before Saturday. One stream I want to do all about foodie beauty. I want to see the worst clips. I want to see the worst shit possible. I want to react to that shit. I want to show my people and my community why I'm doing this. I want to show my people why I want this bitch off the fucking platform. So I want to do a stream like that where we just react and talk about different things. I might even have an open panel. Um, and then I want to do another stream this week where I just completely stick my foot deep in Ernie Shell's ass. Um, you know, you said a lot of bullshit, Crocodile Dundee, but I'm going to tell you straight up, uh, I've listened to you talk. You've lied about most of the things that you've said. You have so many people fooled. You have so many women over there fooled that are donating money to you thinking that you're a predator catcher and you're going to solve the Summer Wells case. This one forgot in front of a camera said, I'm going to be the one to solve the Summer Wells case. What other cases have you solved, you fucking idiot? Have you solved any other ones or are, 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 are you just claiming victory on your first one ever, right? The fuck are you talking about? I'm going to be the one to... Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up. You ain't going to do shit. You ain't going to do shit, but sit there and be guest mob's bitch. That's what you're going to be. You're going to be our bitch. You're, you're guest mob's new chew toy. Straight up. And I swear to God, we're going to fuck your shit up, man. You are a piece of shit. I remember when Savage was fucking going at you. I remember when you were going over there with fucking Mark Terry. And I remember even then just being like, this dude is such a creepy fucking piece of shit. And boy, the content on you that we're going to watch. I mean, you were running down the fucking interstate with the cops after you talking to 911, screaming your head off, saying that they're they're there to kill you. And the 911 operator was having to try to calm you down. Like, Ernie, calm down. You got to talk to the officers. You're like, they're trying to kill me. It's like, oh my God, what the fuck is wrong with this dude, man? But there's so much fucking content on you that I cannot wait to cover you. Like, this is kind of like a like an introduction stream, update stream, announcement stream. Saturday's the big stream. I'm thinking the next stream will be, I don't know. What do you guys think? Monday, Tuesday. I'm thinking Tuesday and then Thursday and then Saturday. Do you guys like that schedule? Is that cool? Does that work? Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. That's that's what I'm thinking. I think I think that'll be our schedule. I think I think Tuesday we're going to do the foodie beauty stream. And then I think Thursday we'll do the Ernie stream. And I think Saturday, well, I don't think, it's already fucking scheduled. Saturday is the interview with Kybella, which is going to be fucking lit. Do not fucking miss that shit. I promise you, if there was ever a stream to tune into, and if there was ever a pre-show to watch, <laughs> that's going to be it. I swear to God, 
that's going to be it. Um, share, share it out. Tell your friends. Post about it. Post it on your Twitter. Let everybody know because we about to shut shit down on Saturday. I promise you. And it's going to be fucking fun. We're going to have a good fucking time. After the interview, I'm going to open up the fucking panel and anybody can come up and talk about foodie beauty and say whatever the fuck you want. Or you can just join in on the on the Def Comedy Jam fucking roasting session. But we're going to have a fucking blast. We're going to have some fucking fun. And we're going to do what Guest Mob does best. We're going to shut shit down and have a good ass fucking time doing it. And I can't fucking wait. I can't wait. So, don't miss it. Don't miss it. <laughs> don't miss it. I promise you, don't miss it. Um, and to, yeah, honestly, Nicolina, I I ain't really got shit to say to you because you said that you're gonna do a, a, an expose on Ghost and Peachy tomorrow. She's gonna go live and. She's going to um, expose Ghost and Peachy um, with a whole bunch of um, bullshit receipts and probably going to say she made a phone call, but she's not going um, to have any uh, proof of any uh, thing she uh, fucking says, you stupid fucking bitch. Um, so I will actually wait for you to do your stream before I, I I react to anything you're going to fucking say. Um, you're claiming, yeah, I got the proof and you're being lied to. Okay. Well, prove it, bitch. Um, you female Ben Stein fucking clear eyes commercial. Um, prove it. Prove it. Come with some fucking receipts. We're still waiting on the receipts from you about how your CPS was caught on me. Yeah, well, we're still waiting on that shit, fucking cunt. Um, just saying. Just saying. We're still waiting for the receipts. Ghost and Peachy show theirs. Where is yours, bitch? Where the fuck are yours? I haven't seen shit. Nothing. At all. So... I'm not going to address what I was going to address with you tonight because I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because something tells me that you got way more bullshit for me to talk about if I just wait one fucking day. So I'm going to wait. And when I do address you, it'll either be on the Foodie Beauty stream or it'll be on the Ernie Shell stream, but I will address you at some point. And I will respond to your ghost and peachy expose. <laughs> Oh, she's such a fucking bitch. All right. Well, um, with that being said, first off, let me say again, I cannot thank you guys enough for 47K. Thank you. We're we're, we're already at 47.1. So you guys are fucking amazing. Thank you. That means so much to me. The support means so much. The super chats mean so much. The, the memberships mean so much. I mean... Like straight up, you know, at at the end of the day, um, I don't do this for the money, but at the same time, I mean, I'm a single fucking father of four. So thank you. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you. Football signups are fucking expensive and so are these fucking cheer uniforms. Thank you. Um seriously, like you, you guys have no idea how how much it does mean to me that you have literally get, gave me your time, um, your effort, your support, you know, and I, I really do appreciate that. So thank you so much for all of the support and thank you so much for 47K. Much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um, you know, I oh man, I say I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't like having these type of conversations. But I, I will say this. I will say this. Um, it's it's nice to be able to do YouTube now, and um, just be able to enjoy it, man. You know what I mean. 
Like, I don't have a raging lunatic wife in the house anymore that's going to get mad and shut off the fucking internet while I'm live or go in my room and destroy my computer equipment and throw my mic on the ground because she's jealous that I do YouTube and that her channel got no views, even though I tried to help her so many times and she just did not want to do anything with her channel. Um... You know, and I, I, it's just, it's like a breath of fresh air to be able to do this shit and just enjoy, actually enjoy it. Because there was a time when I was doing this shit and this shit was an escape away from dealing with that. You know what I mean? Like me going live was me getting away from her. Like, like that's the honest to God truth. Um, you know, me, me being able to do that, um, for just two, three, four hours was an escape away from the daily bullshit that me and my children had to deal with. Um, you know, so to, to be able to do this, um, and to be able to do it successfully and enjoy it and have a good time you know, and have a good time with all of you and not be stressed about it and not wonder, you know, while I'm ending my stream, if she's going to barge in and start a fucking argument that ends with the cops coming out of the fucking house or, you know what I mean? Like, I'm glad I can do this and just, just, just be peaceful with this shit, man. And just enjoy it. Just fucking enjoy it. I love it. I love it. Um, and I thank you guys for all your support. I thank you guys for, for sticking with me for so long because there's a lot of OGs here, you know. Um, a lot of people in here that that definitely, you know, when 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 I terminated the fucking channel, like I, <laughs> I was kind of, you know what? I kind of I kind of was like, man, like, are they gonna remember me when I come back? Like I know there's, you know, the core people that have been hanging around following the Boyd drama like me when I was retired. But, like, if I go live, are they going to show up? Am I going to go live and there's, like, 100 people? You know what I mean? Like, are they going to even remember me? Are they going to want to watch me? But, man, that first stream back, we packed, like, over 500 people in that bitch. And we had fucking fun and we had a fucking good time. And it was like, I never fucking left. And we have done nothing but kick ass since then and just get bigger and better every single month, growing this community, growing the, the discord, growing the support, man, it's, it's, it's been an amazing ride so far since being back. Um, and on honestly, I, you guys that do support are the driving force behind that. You know, like I've said, man, like we would sit there, well, we, but I would sit here during the pre-show and every, every time, man, when, when it gets to the fucking purge part and that alarm starts fucking blaring and then Judas fucking hits and the purge masks are flying and the chat's flooding with the masks. That shit does something to me, I swear to God. Like, that shit makes me want to run through a brick fucking wall. Like, that gets me so fucking hype. <laughs> if you guys could see me when those purge masks are flying and the music is playing, I'm like, all right, like, Let's fucking go. <laughs> Time to rip someone's ass open. You know what I mean? Like, holy shit, Donald. God damn. Thank you. Holy fuck. Thank you, Donald. Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. Much, much appreciated, bro. Thank you for that. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for that. Seriously. Um, and yes, join the, yeah, there's the discord, join the discord. But, um, 
No, nah, it's just it's just one of those. It, it's a good. It's, it's just a good feeling. It's 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 overall just a good feeling. You know what I mean? Because like, it's a big difference of doing this and enjoying it, and doing this and like using it as an escape. It's a big fucking difference. And I'm, and right now I'm loving every fucking second of this shit. Checkmate, um, bitch. The ride is just beginning. I have so many plans for this community, for the channel. I got plans for other people in my community. Like I've been hitting people up like, listen, man, I don't want to be the only one eating. Come on, let's start getting some people to go live. Let's start getting some panels, man. I want to see, I want to see Three's Company back. I want to see Guest Bob Resurgence and Whitney back. I want to see Takai streaming. I want to see Frank fucking killing it, who will be doing a stream after this. Uh, the eat it or wear it challenge. I don't know the dollar amount, but if he hits the dollar amount, he's doing a challenge. I might be there to do the challenge. I got I got three different things to do after this stream. I got to jump on a VC. We're going to have a little community meeting because we're going to talk about all this because, you know, Takai was like, yo, bro, can we have a meeting after this and talk about all this and let's get a game plan. I'm like, I'm down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get a game plan, man. Let's get some. Let's get some some steady after shows going. Some steady fucking content. Like, let's get this shit going, man. It's it. It's showtime. It's fucking showtime. And I don't, you you know, like, listen, the type of person that I am, um, you know, and and my mods can tell you this. I have called them, been like, listen, I'm loving the super chats and the memberships, and I'm loving the supporters. But like, I want you guys to get some too. Like, come on, like. Like, I don't want to be the only one. Come on. Like, listen, I let's be all everybody. You know what I mean? Like, I I, I genuinely care about the people in my community. I, I want them to succeed. If I'm if I'm succeeding, I want them to succeed, too. If my streams are doing good, I want their streams to do good. Um, You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I want them to be able to do what I'm doing and be able to be successful at it. So I got I got a lot of plans. We're going to be talking about a lot of different things. Um, one thing we've been kind of dabbling in to think about is maybe a a true crime branch of Guest Mob because there's a lot of people in Guest Mob that like to cover true crime. Um, you know, um, I will say we we do need some panelists for after shows. Yes, Takai was like, you know, after shows ain't, ain't, ain't nothing. I could do an after show, but we need some people on the fucking panel. <clears throat> Raina. Um, <laughs> Raina. But yeah, no, like I I got plans for this shit, man. And I, I want I want my entire community to succeed. I want Frank to succeed. I want everybody to succeed. I want everybody to to get, you know, subs and 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 uh, you know attention. Like I want everybody to. You know what I mean? Um, So we're going to put some plans in effect. We're going to put out some quality fucking content because we're not, you know, as you guys may have seen by the content of these streams, we don't half-ass our shit. You know what I mean? If people are, if people are going to come and support me and ride or die and donate and like and share, I'm going to make sure that when I put on a stream, you feel like it was the biggest stream that night. Like when the stream is over and that and that that fucking outro hits, I want you to feel like you just got done watching the fucking Super Bowl. But I want you to feel like that every single time you watch. And that's why we put so much work into this. That's why we put so much work into the dancers and the intros and the graphics and the fucking screen and everything we fucking do. Because I want people to feel like they're they're getting their support worth their money's worth, um, you know, and I want to be able to put on an amazing fucking show every fucking time, and I want people to have a good time every fucking time, where after that stream, I want people to be like, God damn, did you catch that fucking Be Our Guest, Guest Bob stream? I want people to, to be like, man, I got to react to that shit. I got to catch the replay. I've been hearing about it. That's what I want. And that's that's my goal every single time. That's why we put so much work into this shit. So thank you to everybody. 47K. The road to 50K. 
begins. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> to the what? I don't know what roar. What do you roar? The fuck they talking about a roar? What are you talking about? About a roar? <laughs> A roar. Oh, you mean like that sound Raina makes when she burps into VC? Is that what you mean? <laughs> a roar, a, a rar. There's a raw. I say a rar. <laughs> um, what what is going on in my chat right now? It, is, is, is Foodie Beauty's husband in here? Is he wolf woofing? Is that what we're doing right now? Is he fucking in here? <laughs> but um, seriously, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, and let's get to fucking work. And Rachel, you need to start streaming too. Or you ain't getting that Happy Meal at McDonald's. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Rachella, Rachella might have gorilla grip, but she does not fucking stream. That's a problem. That, that gorilla grip ain't gonna save you from everything. <laughs> it ain't gonna save you from everything. You need to start streaming, Rachella. R white trash, Rachella. <laughs> oh God, fucking cool to call dumbass. But. Um, Frank, where is Frank? He, because I'm going to post Frank's link. You know what? I told Frank before the stream, I said, Frank, make sure you're ready. Post your link, you know? Because after I end my stream, people are going to want to go to yours to see this eat it or wear it challenge and shit. And hmm. <laughs> Crickets, huh, Frank? I, I mean, I seen him earlier post the link, but that was like two hours ago. I, I don't know. I don't know. Can somebody post Frank's link though for his challenge? And if, and if you're not subscribed to Frank, definitely subscribe to him. Um, I'm going to try my best to be up there with him to do the eat it or wear it challenge. What the challenge is pretty much is people donate money and then you have various household items. You can have uh, ketchup, uh, raw egg, a whole bunch of stuff. And people get to choose when you, you know, you put it up to the camera and they get to choose whether they want you to eat it or wear it. Wearing it is you just push right over the fucking head or you eat it. Um, so that's what Frank is doing tonight. He's doing the eat it or wear it challenge. He got the ketchup, the mustard and all that shit. He got raw eggs. He got household products and shampoo and <laughs> But please don't, please don't pick Frank to eat the shampoo. Don't, don't be a dick. <laughs> don't, don't have Frank hold up a bottle of Old Spices and everybody's like, eat it. <laughs> don't fucking kill him, please. Um, <laughs> don't do that. Be nice. There's Frank. There he is. Off the rails with Frankie D. <laughs> Jose says, is salt an option? Yes, I believe salt's an option. I believe salt's an option. Um, so <laughs> look out for that. That's happening right after the stream. The minute I end, he's going live. So as soon as I'm done here, he's going over there. I'm going to jump on discord and go into the VC. We're going to have a, a quick meeting about coordinating a lot of stuff. Um, and then I'm going to handle something else and I'm going to try to make it back over there to go up with him and do the challenge with him. Um, if I can't do this one with him, I will be doing one with him. Um, I, I want to say maybe tomorrow or we, 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 we may push it a couple more days. I'll have to talk to him, but we all have the product. We got the, uh, the bean boozled challenge, but it's not the one you guys think of. It is the spicy one, the peppers one and the hottest, the hottest jelly bean is a, is a fucking Carolina Reaper. Um, Ooh, fuck. So we're going to be doing Bean Boozled. Um, and that's, that's going to be fun. Um, the money that is actually made from that challenge, we, we actually are going to take all money made. So I think we're going to set a limit. We're going to set a limit. Um, and then 
the entire pot, which is going to Frank, is going to go to someone in our community. Checkmate, bitch. Um, is salt an option? Tears of joy. <laughs> this salt, fuck. Don't kill him. Um, but that's that's happening. That's happening. Um, you know, we we are all about helping out people in our community. And when we when we find out that somebody in our community needs help, we, you know, we do whatever we need to do to get them some help. And um, we're going to, you know, add some fun to it. <clears throat> and we're going to do a challenge. And the the entire plot of that challenge is going to go to this person. Um, but the best part about it is they have no fucking clue. <laughs> It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. And it'll be, you know, it'll be a thing that we do, um, you know, where, when, you know, we'll probably all pop into the Discord and hit the person up, pull them into a VC and be like, hey, here you go. Um, but they have no idea. They don't know. They don't know. They have no clue. So we take care of our own, you know, in, in this community. We, we help people every week, you know, honestly, every fucking week. Um, you know, this community does a, a, an awesome fucking job of always coming together. So we're going to get that done. Um, we got somebody that's going through, you know, a pretty fucking tough time. And, uh, you know, we're going to help them out. So I'm going to go get this all handled. And then uh, after I'm done with all of this, I'm going to try to relax and play uh, play some fucking uh, EA Sports College Football 25 EA says, please tell me you're going after Foodie. Yes, absolutely. That is exactly what's happening. Yes. Uh, we're going to fuck that bitch up. Collectively. 100%. So, I got to go get some shit done. And it's officially 11 p.m. on the dot. So, Guest Mob and all other communities, thank you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for 47K. On the road to 50K. And none of that was possible without you. As for Foodie Beauty, and as for Ernie Shell, time's up. Man, bitch. damn, super chat, super chat. <laughs> some fun. No it's beam be at flicking. Your expense. We gonna fuck your shit up. Guess mob style. Enjoy. Catch you guys in a couple days. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>